Hi everyone, it's Candace at Dr. Emmer's office. I'm here with Kimberly from Rev Skin. Yes. And we are gonna do a Rev Peel. Now, if you guys have been following our stories, you probably saw me go through the Rev Peel about a month ago, and we posted my results, and I'm loving it. I have no makeup on. I feel like my skin looks a lot brighter from my peel. Uh, better pores, less texture. So we're excited to give this to Justin, um, just to brighten up his skin and help with some <laughs> pigment. So I'll let Kimberly take over because she's the expert. She's been doing this for a long time and she's a trainer with Rev Peel. So yes. I'll let her chat while I prep his skin. So since Justin has never had a peel before, we're so excited to give this peel to him because he's going to actually get one of the really best peels he could get. So he actually has really nice skin. So sometimes people think that just because you're getting a peel, you have to have really a lot of hyperpigmentation or bumpy, lumpy skin. Actually, no, these peels actually stimulate your natural collagen into kind of perking up because as we get older, it gets a little tired and doesn't really want to do what it's supposed to do. So we're just giving it a little uh, to get it going. So, um, you know, we're going to um, peel on him and he's going to actually Pe start peeling on day three. So we're gonna prep him right now. We're gonna remove all the oil from his skin. And that way this, the peel penetrates nice and evenly and we get a nice even penetration and um, yeah. you know, uh, saturation yeah. of peel. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't take a deep breath. Yeah. Don't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yep, already found that one out. <laughs> yeah, it's strong. So Justin, like we said, it's his first peel, so I'm excited for you. And he, we didn't pre-treat with anything. We're just doing this on his skin um, without doing any sort of exfoliation beforehand because that's how we get the peeling. That's how we get good results. Now, we've, we've shown you guys pictures in the past of people that have done Rev Peel, and they aren't peeling as much, and that's because they've been treated maybe with a laser or another um, abrasive procedure right beforehand, which it's okay. It's still benefiting the skin. You're still getting cellular turnover. You're still activating collagen. You still have benefits, but you're not going to get the dramatic result that I had because I had left my skin unexfoliated for like two weeks um, before we did my peel. Right. And I like to actually treat the skin two to three times a year with the Rev Peel. And um, we also have a different formula of Rev Peel that you can do in the summertime. So there's a lot of different protocols. You can really customize this peel. So you can get a lighter version of the peel or you can get a heavier version of the peel depending upon what you're looking for, your downtime that you have available and um, really what you want your end results to be. All so right. good job. Okay, so we've degreased the skin, so now we're ready to peel. So let me grab my, and we're just doing the Rev Peel standard, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay, cool. So here we are. You guys wanna see this? Mm -hmm. So the ingredients are salicylic, TCA, lactic, uh, lactic and phenol. And it's about 10% of the acids. Yes, it's actually proprietary, so we don't really uh, like to say what the percentage is. Gotcha. But, um, but it is, yes. Perfect. In that range. In that range, perfect. Do you want me and what's the pH? Thing? No. The pH the, is... The pH on this one yeah. is 1.5. 1. 1.5, 1. Yeah. okay. I, was, I thought it was 2, but close enough. Cl yeah, 1.5 1. 1. 5 to 2. Okay, cool. All right. I'm going to give you this. Thank you. And we're gonna do the first coat on Justin and wait and watch how his skin reacts. So let me get a little bit on here. And you're gonna feel tingling. The first, actually the first pass you don't really feel much with. No, so yeah, you're gonna apply just the first pass kind of lightly. And the, the thing that makes this peel so different and um, I feel that makes it a far superior peel is its um, formulation is very contemporary and it is an, is an oil-based delivery system which we love. So it penetrates the skin slower so you don't blast the skin with the acids and therefore you don't get post-inflammatory pigmentation. We have a couple questions. Uh, right. Is this Yay. peak good for younger skin? For example, I'm 22 and would love to try a peel. Would this be a good start? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, and one more question. If I have rosacea and eczema, is it okay to use? 
Um, we would do probably start you out with the Rev Peel Fresh, which is our lighter version with the eczema. And we would see how your skin handled that peel first, and then we could always bump you up to the Rev Peel Standard. Perfect. Yes, definitely. Feeling good? Tingly? Yeah, it's tingly. I can feel it. Yeah. Sure. So he's got a nice flush here. That's good. Yes. Um, but no frosting or anything? No. Going? So we're looking no. for the erythema and the flush, and we're also looking for like little spots of um, frosting. Two baby yeah, frosting two baby. spots. And a little bit on the nose. Mm -hmm. It looks good. good. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. I, I really feel it's never too early to start taking care of your skin, especially if you live in areas where you get a lot of solar damage. Mm -hmm. um, Rev Peel really helps to treat that solar damage because not only are you treating the pigmentation, obviously he doesn't have a lot of pigmentation. We're treating what's down a little bit deeper and trying to get that skin to the healthy healthy part of the skin yeah. my face turned brown like yes. did you see my face yes. yeah i did there i watched pigment. you every single day <laughs> there is pigment that i didn't know existed i yeah. was horrified i was like I know. oh my god i'm like completely sun damaged i know but what's um, the, what's the downtime with this how long does the peeling process take so on this particular peel the downtime is is definitely five sometimes seven days so you really start peeling on day three, mm -hmm. right? You really started peeling around the corners of the mouth on day three, and then just, it's kind of funny because like chunks of skin peel yeah. off, right? It was, and we should repost the video. I was just scrunching my face and it was so <laughs> tight. You could see all these crazy lines, but um, day, day two was just tight. Like I couldn't yeah. even open my mouth. And then day three I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then sometimes you'll bend over and pieces of skin will just drop off. <laughs> totally. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're ready to kind go for our second pass, okay? Yes. So this is where you'll probably feel a little bit of the heat. Right. Yeah, and don't be afraid to scrub it in. And how many yeah. passes can you do? Four. Four. Are the max. But we really pay attention to what the skin looks like to see where we're going to stop. Yeah. It's not, this peel is not just use the whole vial and you're done. You really want to pay attention to the skin because everybody's skin reacts so differently. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Looking good. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of um, interesting when you go, you know, like on day two, you're gonna look at yourself and you're gonna see all the damage that you did oh boy. when you were a teenager. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Oh, where are those white spots you're talking about? Yeah, so this is like uh, the frosting yeah. that happens. Right. Which this is a sign of a good peel. That's I, a sign this of a good gets peel. me really happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. It's really not that bad. Like so it, what is the frosting? The frosting is when the peel has actually penetrated the skin and it actually starts desquamating the skin. So that's so. all gonna come off. Yeah. And how many treatments does it usually take for someone who has like heavy skin damage or a lot of sunspots, like on average? Um, I can get, you can actually get really great results with one to two peels. I really recommend th at least three peels a year to get mm -hmm. like Candace's skin or... Well, if you have mm. super, super pigmented, wouldn't you go and lighten instead? Would you go that route and maybe do that peel? Or Not always, not yeah. Always? It depends on their Fitzpatrick scale, okay. which peel I would do um, and how much downtime they have. Okay, Very What true. their schedule is. And does it help with pore and wrinkles? It does. It does help with fine lines and wrinkles and pore size because you, you're um, peeling off the top layers of skin and the, um, the phenol is what penetrates below and helps to really tighten up that collagen, rebuild it. I noticed a big difference with yeah. pores. I yeah. was so happy. That yeah. was one of my main concerns. Yeah. So that was I love it for fine lines and wrinkles. Like before I got married, I did just under my eyes mm -hmm. and oh, it was so nice. Yeah, it, it just yeah. kind of like buffs everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys will notice he's frosting quite a bit, which is great. So maybe yeah. just one more pass on him. Yeah, yeah. I would just do one more pass. Usually like the cheek area is usually your last, last. to get um, frosting. Right. So I would maybe do, Scrub this is what the, th this is the third one, yeah. Coat, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So some, most of the time I'll do three layers with a fourth 
spot treatment, fourth, you know, layer of spot treatment, usually the cheeks are the last part. Awesome, Candace, that looks great. You feeling spicy? I am. I'm <laughs> definitely feeling On a it. scale of one to ten now. <laughs> it's like maybe or four or five. It, yeah. It it's burns, not bad. but it's not it's not painful. Yeah. Right. right. And then you feel a little bit hot throughout the day until you wash. Um, for me, I think the other reason I got such a good peel is I left it on like all day. Could you do it on the eyelids? <laughs> um, no, you can't do it on the eyelids. You can do it on the orbital bone and slightly underneath, but because it is an oil yeah. um, formulation, you don't want it to travel up. Um, you don't so touching on that subject you don't want to leave it on too long too long because the oil will make you not peel oh mm -hmm. yeah i left it on i know you were it self neutralizes but then before you're supposed to wash yes before four hours right yes. or within four hours yeah four yeah. okay i probably had it on because i did it at work i probably had it on for six hours that's fine that's fine but if you leave it on and you don't ever wash the oil off you may not peel Got it. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Yeah. Okay, cool. Interesting. So mm -hmm. that's it. That that's really the great. deal. So we sent him home with a post care kit. Yes. That kit includes a cleanser, a retinol, a post a soothing balm, and mm -hmm. the sunscreen. Oh, so sure. he'll pair together the right type of skincare for how his skin's looking. So he's not going to do anything, um, he's not going to moisturize the skin, he's only going to hydrate new skin, and then he's going to use the retinol everywhere that he hasn't started to peel yet. Right, so the retinol is going to go on the old skin, and he's not going to use anything other than this, this. post-pill kit, yes. because this um, has been specifically designed for this peel. So this is the cleanser, and it has the um, silver moist um the silver, micronized silver in it, which is actually wound healing right. and antibacterial. And then he's gonna use um, the retinol tonight, and you're just gonna use a thin film of the retinol tonight. And that's it. That's it, you're nothing right. else. <laughs> and then tomorrow morning, you're gonna cleanse with the cleanser, and you're gonna use your, um, your SPF 30. This one is tinted, so it'll be like a little bronzer for you. <laughs> and um, it has, um, some vitamin C in it, and it has um, some botanicals that will help hydrate your skin as well, so you will get some hydration. Um, when you start cracking and peeling, um, you can use the number two, which is the um, Silver Moist um, Balm. It's very heavy, so you want to be very careful how much you use of this. If you overuse this, it will cause the peeling to reduce right. as well. Um, so you just wanna use this on the new skin that comes up or on areas that are slightly irritated. Sometimes a little bit around the mouth and the nose mm -hmm. will get a little slight irritation. And that's usually the first area that it will peel because yeah. you're talking, eating, there's yeah. a lot of movement there, so <laughs> that's where. And sometimes you get a secondary peel mm -hmm. if you over talk and make faces and things like that that will prematurely lift. No exercising for five days, no Sorry. sweating, because you don't want to prematurely lift that peel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's it. All right. You are Thanks, all you guys. Set with your take home. Thank you for Thank you so much. In. Bye, you guys. <gasps>